Come on, B. Drop one. Oh, that's money. That was an absolute missile. We both have a very competitive edge, and I love it. Ooh, he is dialed. Can't see a guy with dust mine. That's the good thing about golf. You hit some bad shots, but then you can do a shot like that, and now you feel like you're on top of the world. Yeah, that was probably one of the top five bunker shots I've ever hit. What's up, everybody? We are at Scottsdale, Arizona. This is where I live. This is where I call home. We are at Raven Golf Club. I got my dog out here, Micah Morris, aka Tig. That guy, the long driver, the stick, everything. This is the guy right here. This is the champion. This is the guy that you want to take down if you're taking down anybody. You saw on my last video, I took down GC Tall Twig, Garrett Clark. You know, at Warwind, he's not up. He's not happy about that. He's still a little upset. So I called out Micah. I said. Micah, I need I need to see where I'm at. Like I, I need to see if that was real or that was fake. So we're gonna do a nine hole match real quick. I think Gary gave me two strokes, so I think Micah needs to give me three. Micah needs to give me three. I don't know how he feels about that. I can do that. I like the challenge. I'm okay. Up for a okay. Good okay. So he's gonna give me three. We're just but gonna go out here and see what time it is. What what you got? You have, a, have you how many times have you played here? Once. Once. Okay. I played so it and that, it was last even. week. It was on Labor Day. Okay. It was last week, so, so it's not. Equal. It's yeah, it's pretty course. even. If it was whirlwind, it'd be different. But this, I've only played it once. Guys, I think it's gonna be a good match. Overall, I think uh, Bryce is playing some really good golf, and I've I've noticed that he's been putting in a lot of work, especially with his putting, and his swing is looking really good right now. So I'm going to have to be on my game if I want a chance today, especially getting three strokes. But I think we're going to jump right into this video, and we're going to be moving pretty quickly. So hope you guys enjoy your channel, UTL first. All right, let's go. All right, guys, first hole is a straightaway par four. A little bit uphill. I think it's like 417 yards, so it's a little bit of a beast. Oh! It's going a little bit right. But there doesn't appear to be anything over there. I think there's actually a fairway over there. I don't know. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right, the infamous two iron, I think, is in Micah's hand. I can tell by the shaft. The infamous two KBS tour shaft in that thing, Wilson. This is his bread and butter. Him and Garrett have fist fights over this thing. I actually got, this is my very own. Oh, you got yeah. one yourself, nice. All right. Hopefully it's it like I did. Oh, that's money. You're looking good, you're sitting pretty. Trickle just into the left rough, but I think we'll be good to play there. That's a good shot right there, my guy. All right, so this is gonna be interesting because I know the flag is like somewhere over there, but I don't know how far, so I'm gonna just take a pitching wedge. I'm gonna just go over this small little tree right here and hope that it's in the right direction. Struck pretty well, it's a little draw, headed right, little right bully, in that direction. But, I mean, it should be okay, I mean, if anything, chip in, chip it's up. Definitely back in play. That's the hardest shot in golf is put it back in play. So that was just a blind shot. We had a quad on the tee box hitting into us. I'm probably left. Yeah, I'm left. Or probably yeah. not sand track. All right, Tig, we have 105 to the flag. A little wind behind us. What you got in your hand? I got a little sand wedge. Um, it's going to be like kind of my, my little three-quarter swing with my sand wedge. All right. All right, looks good. Stay on the green. That was a really good distance. I just pulled. Yeah, that was a good distance. You're pin high for sure. Just a little left, right by the trap, but he's good. Dang, literally perfect distance control, but I still got to putt at it. I'm going to be putting this. It's just off the green, a couple, couple feet. He had a really good line for not knowing the line, and he's, he's out of the bunker now. almost went in that almost went in that's a really good shot guys he's got about 20 feet left there for his par all right so my guy's a birdie attempt you know me i'm a slow starter you know what i'm saying i might bogey this hole but i ain't tripping because that's what i do I, this is what i'm used to you know what i'm saying I'm like the six man basketball i don't start the game i just i finish it though lou will sweet lou lemon pepper michael's game his putting is not where he wants it to be but that is a that is a workable putt if you want to go ahead and finish that one out for par, you go ahead and be my guest. All right, you get par. Solid par there. Um, just a little little two putt from the fringe. Bryce has a putt to tie the hole. I don't know how fast the greens are rolling. I'm going to just bang this one, dog. There see? you go. You got to give it a run. I'm going to bang it and see if I make it. I make it. If I don't. And I didn't. Yeah, he gave it a run, guys. But after the first hole, I get it to one up in the match. This course in the greens, the greens are rolling pure. That's one thing that I already noticed. Yeah, That's your they are rolling nice and flat. That's the thing about Scottsdale in September. When that sun starts to kind of dissipate a little bit, the greens start to get healthy. 
and they roll nice. So we're gonna have a good match on our hands. I'm excited for you guys to check it out. Hit that subscribe button. Also, you know my dog Tig just opened up his own channel about a month ago, right? Yeah. Um, just Michael Morris. Go hit the subscribe button on my guy's channel. I'm pretty sure most of you guys on my channel already know him, but if you don't, subscribe to my dog. He has a lot of great stuff. Me and him are both trying to get better at our games. That's what we're like on the journey to do. We're trying to be really good. Uh, Micah is really good, and I'm just trying to catch up, fill the gap. We both have a really competitive, I mean, you've, you've been in sports longer than I have, especially even in the professional sports, and that's that's something that's pretty cool, but we both have a very competitive edge, and I love it. And I think there's a lot we can learn from, from each other. Facts, 100%. I got 124. I we'll like it. With uh, a little bit into the wind. A little bit into the wind. I think you gotta go first because you took yeah. that hole. Holes three, four, and eight are the holes that I get pops on. All right, 124 yards. Micah has gap wedge. All right, put it in there close. That was money, dog. That was so nice. Be the number. That was nice. That was really nice. A little bit short. Pretty good swing, though. I think that wind may have got me just a little more than I thought, but I like it. I got a birdie putt. All right, same club in hand. Got my gap. I pulled it again. I'm doing the same uh -oh. thing I did the last time I played this course. I was in the same spot last time. <laughs> really? Wow. Literally. Dang. Literally. Guys, it may take a few holes just to kind of get warmed up here. I gotta get of, my, yeah. my calibration right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm hitting everything fully right now. All right, guys, we made it up to the green. Bryce's ball, I think he had the right club because it landed somewhere right back there, but it just got to kick off this hill. I'm gonna walk up to the green and record so you guys can see where it lands and where it ends up. How you feeling about this shot? Oh, I'm fine. I'm not worried about yeah. it, about 35 yards. That's the confidence. That's the confidence I know and see from Bryce all the time. I mean, I'm gonna execute it, but. Sit a little bit. Oh, that one almost went in too. That <laughs> almost went in again. It rolled right by the hole. Ah, uh, about 15. It's not bad. I, I would take it from there any day. I'll take it. Dang, I almost went in. Yeah. Come on, B. Drop one. I just gotta get. I just gotta get my tee shots right. If I get my tee shots right, Mike is in trouble. But until then, he's he's sitting in a, he's sitting in a good seat right now. You know, when you when you putt left is straight. When you come through the ball, that club head needs to finish left. It needs to exit left. Because if it exit right, you're going to push it every time. I'm pretty sure he's working on that. I got a gift for Micah soon on the way to his crib as we speak. A little mechanism that I like to use that keeps my path in check with the putter. Birdie putt for Micah. Oh, that's a good putt though. Ooh. All right, good par. Good par. Just think about this. It rolled it rolled about a half inch on this side of the cup. So that's it didn't, think, so it didn't break much. All right guys, solid little par par start there. Bryce has this. We'll par as well. Oh, oh man. Damn, I thought that was in when you putt. hit it. That was a good putt. Dang. Hey, I think it was just straight. That was yeah. just straight up straight. Dang. Well, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I just, like I said, I got to get my tee shots on point. If I get my mm -hmm. tee shots on point, I think I'm okay. Guys, he's not kidding when he says his putting stroke is in his back pocket. It's seriously one of the best putting strokes I've ever seen. Like, the ball rolls, it's the most consistent roll. It's like Brant Seneca. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, so we got a long par four here. It's about 450 from the silver tees. We are playing one up from the tips today, and it's still 450. So, Micah has the two iron dial. He has that little power uh, hook, draw, power draw, whatever, that rolls out about an extra 50 after the carry. That's what I'm hoping for here. Michael Morris, he's up too. Don't run out too much. I think it's good. He had a nice, he had a nice draw that started out that way that ended up over there. I think it's okay. If it's not in the fairway, it should be like first cut. Yeah. Bryce going with driver. I love this play. Uh, I just want to swing it. You gotta let it go, dog. A couple just, more holes, I'll be pulling the driver out too. Just let it go, dog. You know. I love it. Oh. That was an absolute missile. That had no side spin on it, and it's it going <laughs> just an absolute missile Let's up the go, left side. Baby, that good was shot. Nice. That's momentum right there. That's a good shot right there. That's a good shot right there. For the par four, I'm probably, I don't know how long I'm out, but hey, I'm, I'm feeling good. I have a nice little wedge. I'm not finding my ball in the next fairway. I'm not in a ditch. I'm not in a hill. And he does get a stroke on this hole too. And I get a stroke. <laughs> so that's that's the start I needed on this hole to try to do something on Micah right now. All right, All right guys, so, we're both in the fairway. And he's ahead of me and I hit a driver and he hit that uh, two iron and he hit that nice power hook. Obviously, you guys know if it's a draw, it's going to roll out a little bit, mm -hmm. but still, that's unacceptable. 
I don't mind hitting that draw with an eye with a with a tee shot, but I don't like doing that when I'm hitting into the green. Yeah, oh heck no. That's I something don't I'm really either. that's the on. worst, dog. That's something I'm really working on. How far we got? Uh, I got 180. I got seven iron, smooth seven piece. Shouldn't be too much. Oh a little thin, but it's gonna get there. Dang. You putting? No. Is it Dang. long or short? It's it's long. It's past. I got a chip. I mean, it'll be a decent chip, but yeah. good place to chip. Micah here. I got eight. He has an eight iron in hand. It's into the wind, so I feel like I gotta kind of be aware of that. Eight iron in hand. He has about 170 playing 168. It's a little windy in the face. Headwind. Oh, he is dialed. It looks like it's like close to the back fringe, but Small. still, that shot was. That was pretty. I, that, that was well. nice. <laughs> that was a beautiful ball flight. If I had a shot trace on that one, woo, that's sexy. All right, we made it up. Bryce had good distance control. It was just a little left again, and then mine's probably about 15, maybe 20 feet straight up the hill. Bryce is out, so he's gonna be going first. He's got a, he's got a little wedge. I got a little undulation. That's that's a, it's a ridge right here that you probably can't see on the camera, but where I'm trying to go is gonna push this way. So hopefully, I can land it high, soft and have it just trickle on down right there. I love it. I did not Ran out just hit it where I wanted it to. I put it on the line that I wanted it to put it on. I didn't hit my target. Probably have like a 10 foot, no, 10, yeah, t seven to 10 foot putt. Micah has about five yards. So he has 15, I have about seven to 10. Take care of the greens, the greens take care of you. Shout out to my guy, Tig. Let's do a little DraftKings betting. Put a little comment in the bottom if he's gonna drain this or not before you watch it though. A little underneath it. That's another solid par for my guy though. He's playing par golf right now. That's okay, hopping out the trunk. I'm, I'm, that's, that's, that's what I expect from him. That, I don't know. I may have pulled it or I may have just not read it right. It's hard to tell, but nonetheless, solid par. Bryce has this. He has a putt to win the hole. Oh, I got a pop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me let me read this a little hard. <laughs> <laughs> Changes his uh, little mental strategy there. I love it. Oh, I gotta make this. Yeah. Uh, High hole. No, no blood. But dang, I forgot. Gotta make that. <laughs> Still down two. I think I'll get another pop on the next hole. Um, but yeah, dude, you gotta make the putts. <laughs> yeah. Come on, bro. Dang, that was a. Good putt, just freaking. I don't like straight putts. Yeah. Sometimes I have a hard time with them too. It's like I need it to be breaking a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause that gives you like your leeway. Like, you right. know what I mean? To like miss a little bit, you know? Right. All right guys, we made it to our fourth hole of the day. Par five, 577 yards from the tip. Is this it? I think this is it. Yeah, I bombed it, but you know, were we playing for like that? Yeah, we had that bit. Maybe the tees were different though. You get like a 500 yard drive. I bombed it. it. Literally, I bombed it. All right, Tig here. He's pulling out the 42 inch Addis punch from uh, UST Mamiya. My people down in Fort Worth, Texas. Shout out to Lindsay. Shout out to Danny. I'm excited to see this bomb here. Ah, it's going right. A little right. But I don't think there's anything over it. Oh, just in case. Uh oh. He went right. Dang. There's two people in the cars. I think those are our guys. I think that's Matt and them, so they'll be Probably okay. Be as long as they didn't get hit. If it's something like that, I might not be able to find that ball. Oh, uh oh. When <laughs> I get a pop, that's two. That's two. But no, I don't think so, because remember when we came from there, it was like grass. That's true. I think there might be a little bit. Hopefully, there is some, some, something over there that gives me a little break. I hit it hard. I just didn't hit it at the right direction. That's unfortunate. Bryce with driver. Love to play. You guys are lucky you came now. Was it you bad? Came a couple like a weeks month ago. ago? Like last week, it was pure. It was like 90 degrees, which is like 70. Yeah. But if y'all would have came like a month ago, y'all would have been like, you know what? We're leaving early today. We're not filming. <laughs> it's hot, bro. That's it. It might have not been hit as well as he wanted to, it but that's literally that perfect. Well, but that's going to roll forever. That's going to brew. It's probably going to be inside of 200. That's another drive that I didn't hit in the center of the face, but I mean, as long as it's not spraying, I'm okay. Advance Bryce on this hole so far. So far, we'll see. He'll be right there even with my ball. My ball's right there. 250 yards That's going to hurt, and I got to pop. You might as well just concede if you do that. <laughs> and I can't really hit a cut because I don't. This tree's here. Yeah kind of got in a bad situation. And he's short too, so <laughs> I mean, you know he got a bad situation right there. I am pretty good at hitting a draw though, so I could probably- Yeah, you can just turn I yourself. I could probably hit like a, I don't know, that's kind of 
risky. Down, it's it's just risky because if you hit it straight, then it's like you're way over there. Right, it's and like, downwind, they don't turn as much either. So it's like, I think I'm going to go with the punch underneath this tree try to have a wedge in. Just have, okay, smart play. Because I was over there the last time I played. We, we'll see, we'll see. I think it's going to depend on what your shot does, Tig. If you do something that makes me go, okay, I need to hit this six iron or seven iron to get it there, I will. If not, I might just lay it up because I do have a shot. So play smart. Hopefully, I don't pull my wedge if I do that. Oh, he brought the two iron out. That worked. That worked. That worked. That's going to be good. You got a wedge in. You're going to still have a great birdie opportunity. I'll take that all day. That'll work. That's better than I thought. It, I mean, a little risk reward, but I think it paid off. All right, so I got a four iron here. I got 260 to the flag. I might not make it to the flag, but I'm trying to get as close as possible. I do not want to block it, right? Because there's some deep, 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 deep sand traps right there. So four iron. Hopefully, if I miss it, I miss it left. Not that far left. I heard it, but God, I don't know what's dog over it. there. I don't know. Another hole over there, so I think he's in play. Uh, but that uh, was a little bit tuggy. <laughs> Not ideal, especially nah. when you get a pop on this hole. Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal at all. Okay, so so if I lose this ball, I technically would be dropping three, hitting four. But since I have a pop, I would just be hitting three. So we would be even. All right, so I couldn't find my ball, which sucked. You know, you know how it is out here in Scottsdale. You know, you might hit it up on the ridge and then it just goes somewhere and watch us find it on the next hole. But dropping, luckily, luckily I have a shot on him on this hole. So instead of me dropping three and hitting four, I am dropping nothing really. I'm mm -hmm. just hitting three. Okay, I got sand wedge. I'm trying to hit a nice little just like pitchy shot out there. 76 yards? Yeah, 76. That had a lot of spin. A little bit on it. short, yeah. It came out with a lot of spin. Because I thought that was gonna roll out. Mm -hmm. God dang it. Tig is back in the driver's seat, really, because all he has to do is get it close. Or really, all he has to do is get par and not get par, you know what I mean? So he's sitting pretty. Love the number, 104. 104, that's his number. Sandwich? Mm -hmm. Pretty three quarter sandwich for him. Yeah. The number, a little man. pulley. Man, that's All right, we got a distance. put off. We got a put off. That's a good distance, though. All right, guys. Bryce has just had a little more spin than he was expecting, and it stopped short. But he's got about 20, maybe 30 feet, kind of up the hill, and that is the biggest bunker I've ever seen. 20 feet straight across. Distance control is perfect. Hit it. It's not bad. It's about seven or eight feet short there. All right, Michael for bird. What you feeling about this one, man? Bird, are you gonna make it? Yeah, I, I would like to make one. It's been a little bit. You left that short too. Same. That should be a par though. Go ahead and knock that in. Par. Good par. Good par for you. Right? Yeah, especially after having that second little punch shot, but made the best of it. Oh my Dang, goodness. Dang, I keep doing that, dog. <laughs> the last couple of holes, I've been pushing them just a smidge. So I really went left on my exit. Oh yeah. And I went two left. You dropped and hit three, and you putt for birdie. I putt for birdie, I putt for par. Oh, I lost my pop, so yeah. I lost that hole. Yep, so I'm down three. I'm down three on a pop hole. That's a dang gun shame. All right, so I double bogey, basically. Mm -hmm. Five left, so I gotta step my game up. I'm not I'm not really playing bad, I just, I have one shot a hole that's not working well for me right now. Guys, we're on to our fifth hole of the day. This is, this, this is a really short par four. It's only like 300 yards to the pin, but because it's only 300 yards, they got this thing surrounded by bunkers. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm I think I want to have a wedge in again, but I'm going to do some range finding and see what happens. All right, guys, Bryce growing with a five wood, and I think I'm going to be hitting just an iron off the tee, but I'm not 100% sure yet. It's a little wind in our face. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't want to go anything crazier than that. I'm going to just try to take it over these sand traps on our left a little bit. Stop. No. What was that? That went that, that went pretty hard left. That but was I think really it's bad. In, I think it's in play. That was really bad. We gotta figure this out or I'm about to get closed out. Get through there, I don't know what you hit. It's in the bunker, dang it. Yeah, tried to come out of it, he's in that bunker right there. It's all right, better than where I'm at. All right, Bryce got a good break. I think it made Extremely good break. Yeah. Like, when I say extremely good, extremely good. I should have just hit it left. For some reason, I just was, I don't know, weird, kind of weird setup on this hole. Yeah, if you don't, like, like... you said, there's fairway that goes around the bunker. You, you can't believe it, because it don't really look like You can't it's there. see it from back up there. It almost, it almost looks from back there that this far left bunker is like the farthest left you can go. 
Well, I didn't make it to the green. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> didn't make it to the green because I didn't really get a, a good heavy. connection on the shot. It was really heavy. Ball was down like that. It was an angle. So this is one of those like those grinder games, man. You got to just figure out what the heck you're gonna do. All right. So he, you can move that. It's a little bad, sandy right, sand trap right there. All right, 90 yards. Most likely gonna be a little short, but man, that's like. Uh, that's, that's, on, that's on the green. Is it? It's that's on the green. It. It's on the ridge. It's where you want it to be. It's a good shot. I mean. Okay. That, I feel like it was spinning a lot. Those shots are just so hard. Those are hard. You clipped it really nice. Bryce is pretty much just right on the front of the green. He's either gonna have a, a chip or a putt. I'm not putting that. Yeah, he's gonna probably be chipping it. A little bump and run. But guys, I hope you I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun. I love competitive golf. I love coming out here and playing these matches. Thanks Bryce for having me on. Bumping it and running it. Go in, go in, go in. Oh. Guys, I was a little bit, <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> Guys, I kind of was, when I was, the camera was zoomed in when I turned around, but that, that is, I mean, you could not have landed that in a better spot. Ah, you Right like into the upslope, slowed it down perfectly, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him that. I'm not even going to make him put that. That's, that's the good thing about golf. You hit some bad shots, but then you can do a shot like that, and now you feel like you're on top of the world. I was like, nah, just hit a bump and run, dog. Hit it into that hill, let it bounce. Looked like it was going to come this way, so I hit it on the left side, and it worked out. That's what you call execution. Tig here, putting it for bird. He can shut all he can shut down all that excitement right now with a make. <sighs> oh that was a good putt though. Yeah, it was a good roll. Par, no blood. It's been a lot of no bloods in this match because I can't do anything. He's parring everything, so birdies are gonna beat him today. Alright, so par four, 420 yards. Look, we are we are not playing from the tips, and like every par four out here is, is above 400. It's, it's a pretty nice course, it's a demanding course. We had a 577 yard par, five just a second ago. Two iron in hand. Good old trusty. Oh boy. Oh, it wanted to turn and it didn't. It's over there somewhere. I saw I saw it bounce. I saw it bounce. It's, it's in play. You might be good. You actually might be good. I don't know how many trees are over there, but you might be good. I think Bryce is going to go with through. Would I like this play? I was tempted to hit driver, but it's almost just not too appealing to the eye. But I may have just opened the door a little bit here for Bryce. Whew. Stop. Dang, I... Ooh, man, I'm fully today, dog. Pulled it a little bit, but I think it's still in play. If I'm, if I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Because fully today, dog. That's my problem. I'm not really a guy that like changes a whole bunch when I'm on the course. Yeah. So like, if I didn't have time to like work on it or fix it yeah. prior, I, I just it just seems like I'm stuck with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I got saved. Look where my ball is and look where it was headed. Thank God. Holy curve. That's what y'all say, right? Yeah. Holy curve. Yeah, Thank that, you. That, it definitely bounced off of that curve. If that curve then... wasn't there, that ball was gone. All right. All right, guys. He's probably, I'm going to guess he's about 164 out. See how good I am from, from there. 163 from where I'm at. Oh, dang. Turn. Oh, you piece of dirt. Hmm. Is it this type of lie it's supposed to turn my face? It is a lot, yeah. And I aimed like at the sand trap and was like, okay, it's gonna turn, and it was straight. That hurts my heart right here. Bryce is gonna get a number for me here. This, there's only one thing about this that it's gonna be a little bit interesting, and that is to be to get enough club to be able to get over that tree and to the green. 160. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hit a hard P wedge. That's all. I, that's okay. the only thing I you can get over. You can hit it up. You can get yeah. it up over that probably. Yeah. I knew it. Oh, I didn't get it up enough. Right there, but I mean, he's still cool because we know we don't know where my ball is. So dang, we have no clue where my ball is. 140 has another tree in the face. It's not directly in front of him, but it is in front of him enough. I don't know if he feels comfortable hitting a, a hard cut. He clipped. It clipped it. That's gonna be in the tree. Oh, it was turning too. I don't know. It looks like sand trap from here. Rest of me this time. Get look at All right, there's my ball right there. I have a shot. I have a shot. I think he can barely just kind of thread it through, and if he can land it on the front of the green, he definitely still has a chance to get this up and down. Oh, tree. Come on, man. Oh, I feel good. 
stay up, stay up. Not too bad from there. And you hit something on the way back. <laughs> Can't see, I got all this dust marks. That was a decent shot. I mean, shots like that, when you got that mulch stuff, what I was told a long time ago, um, if, especially if I had to hit over a sand trap like that, just treat it like a, a bunker shot. Exactly, yeah. So I took a 55 degree and set up my 60, opened the face up and just hit behind it. Got it up, got a lot of dirt in my face. I gotta wash my face now. Holy bunker, big bunker shot, big bunker shot. You have 60 or 55? 56. 56 degree in his hand. Pin here. Get up there. Ooh! That was fantastic. That was pretty good. That was fantastic. That was for par, right? Yeah, so I got a bogey putt. That's still, bro, the level of finesse that you have from that shot right there, bro. Yeah, that was probably one of the top five bunker shots I've ever hit. That's tour. All right, let me get a mark on that. Bryce now has a putt to win the hole. This would be huge. This would be so clutch here. 20 feet up the hill for par. Dang. Good roll. Wrong line. That's good for his bogey. So now I have to make this. He has to make it or I win. I claw back here. This is for bogey and to have the hole. If not, I will be dormy and I will have to win every hole here on out. Because I think... No, I'm only down three and there's four left, right? Okay. After this hole, I think? I don't know. We'll see. This is our sixth hole. Okay. Oh, good putt. All right, so big hole here, big part three. I have to win, so I have to expect birdie or, or die. Bur birdie or bust here, B or B. You know, barbecue or mildew. 188 yards, a little bit winner back. Big old, big old sand trap to the left. Low key a waste hazard. If you just go left, you either in the water or you in the trap. I think I'll get my uh, pop on this hole. Let's go. All right, guys, I got eight iron, and I've got it teed up. See if I can get an extra couple yards out of it. Okay, teed up eight. He is already down the shot on this hole. Oh, a little pulley, but it might be long enough. Ooh, he's up there. Yeah. Guys, I pulled that about 20 yards, so that's pretty pretty big miss there, but I think I might be just a little bit long of the green. All right, what do I have? What do I have? Keep there, I hit it thin. It's okay. A little bit short, but. It's okay, hey, at least I didn't pull it to the Green's left. open, anything's possible. Anything's possible, that was shot zero. Mm -hmm. So now I'm hitting <laughs> exactly. my, you got three I hit my first shot. So. <laughs> All right guys, Bryce, just a little short of the green, but he has some green to work with. Probably like 15, 20 yards. Mm -hmm. Needs a win to extend the match. Landed right thin. by the hole. Yeah. Dang, that was almost good. Just a little thin. I was quick. Shoot, 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 shoot. I'm not playing my best golf today. Everything is off right now. I got my dog, Micah. He has a long. He looks like he's gonna chip it. Let's see if he can keep the ball in this frame. I think he can. Good play. Good play. He has that for par, and my putt's technically for birdie. What a putt. Dang, that was good. Dang, I thought that was gonna go in. Finish this out for my par. Make this putt and it's a wrap. Oh, I thought that was in. All right, so I get, I get one back. Dang. I get one back. He gave me some charity. I'm down two with two to go. Let's go. All right, so uh, we just looked at the scorecard. Somebody just called us in from at home watching us on TV on CBS right now at the U.S. Open and letting us know that that was not the third hardest hole on this nine. So I did not get a pop there. That's just what it is. You got to you gotta pay attention. You got to look at the scorecard on your own. You got to know what you are being granted on each hole. Um, and that was not my pop hole. So my guy, Micah, closes me out three up with two to play. How you feeling, man? You know, we it, it was a good day. It was a solid day. I love playing golf out here in Arizona. It's fun, a lot of fun, but we both hit some good shots. Um, at the end of the day, Bryce had a couple bad breaks and it's a good competitive match. I mean, I, I think we I think we need to do a rematch. Maybe we'll maybe the next match we do will be in Mexico. Oh, on my guy's channel, maybe. Hey, there we go. That'd be sick. On Mikey's channel, we'll get one in. We are going to Mexico together soon. We are going to. Y'all be talking about Cabo. Y'all be talking about Cancun. The spot that we going to is the best golf course in Mexico, period. And I like hands down, you guys will see that on our channels and 
on the Good Good Team channel when those release. But we are going to have some individual matches there as well for our channels. So thank you for my guy Michael for coming out playing with your boy in Scottsdale where I live. Yes, sir. Thank you for good videos a lot of fun yes sir it's gonna be dope and hey you know we're trying to get we're journey to scratch right now you know what we're doing road to scratch he's road to pro you know what i'm saying so hey that was that was good that was good competition for me obviously when you got a guy that can he's a walking par like mikey is you can't you can't pull shots off the tee early you have to par you saw when i beat gary i parred everything that's how i beat gary because i parred i made him make a mistake um and then micah obviously in the last couple of holes he had a bogey here and there like if i would have parred there i would have won those holes so hit that subscribe button on my channel Micah's channel as well ring the bell for notifications and hit the thumbs up dog smash the like button dog sit on the like button dog come on do something for your boy all right we'll see y'all next time appreciate it duffel out